Hello everyone, welcome to Homespun, another edition, a time where we come together to worship, to connect with one another, and uh, today we've got a very special guest, Rob Halligan, who's going to be sharing some songs and talking about his new album release, which we're really excited about, it's a great album. Thank you for joining with us again, it always is good to lift up our focus in these troubled times, in these difficult times, challenging times, to the foundation of what our faith is. And this is really an opportunity for us to do that. Many of you gather from not only across United Kingdom, but across the world, and I welcome you all. And I welcome especially all those people who are joining from uh, Rob's uh, live stream. Um, we thank you for, for joining with us, and I uh, hope you're going to find this a really good time. I want to start actually with um, reading a little bit of scripture to you, which is um, some scripture that uh, came from the words of Paul, who was in captivity, he was in the prison cell and in a Philippian jail, and uh, well, he was actually in chains as well. And in the midst of all that isolation, there was uh, difficulties with church and um, the, the church that he was writing to, there were some challenges. But he wrote his, well, letter to the Philippians and um, he said these words, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. And, you know, I know that old song, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And also, often you find it in church walls, uh, the text there. But I tell you, it wasn't just a sugary rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. He says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Do not be anxious about anything, he says. Actually, the literal translation is, don't fall apart. And, uh, you know, these are challenging times. Uh, let's not fall apart, but let's learn to, well, sometimes just uh, steadfastly to rejoice in the Lord in different ways. I know when circumstances come against us, it can be hard and it's a lot easier to be grateful when things fall our way. But we're called to be a people who know that the Lord is near. That verse and that little passage makes sense with those words, the Lord is near. Because it's not a self-improvement plan it's not an ideology that we must live up to, but it's the confidence that our God is with us that gives us the reason for our praise and our celebration. Let there be songs of joy, positive songs of hope, music that's played and sung in every place of praise and thanks to God. Let there be songs of joy, positive songs of hope, music that's played and sung in every land of praise and thanks to God. All sorts of people, in all kinds of ways, are making a difference to somebody's world. By sharing the burdens of others in need We're bringing God's kingdom to this earth Let there be songs of joy Positive songs of hope Music that's played and sung in every place Of praise and thanks to God let there be songs of joy, positive songs of hope, a music that's played and sung in every place of praise and thanks to God. Now is the moment to rise and be bold. 
stop walking together Down the last traveled road Our message is freedom And in making Christ known We're bringing his kingdom to this earth Let there be songs of joy Positive songs of hope Music that's played and sung in every land of praise and thanks to God. Let there be songs of joy, positive songs of hope. Music that's played and sung in every place of praise and thanks to God. Is pure and kind and is full of mercy. Lift up your voice, he's the king of glory, come on. He's pure and kind and is full of mercy. Lift up your voice, he's the king of glory, come on. Let there be songs of joy, positive songs of hope, music that's played and sung in every place of praise and thanks to God. Come to sing our songs of worship. We've come to give ourselves in praise. To offer thanks to our Creator and celebrate the one who saves. We've come to sing our songs of worship. We've come to give ourselves in praise. To offer thanks to our Creator and celebrate the one. Who saves everybody sing of this everlasting love? Everybody sing of this everlasting love. You're slow to anger, rich in mercy. Let all the earth declare his glory. Everybody sing of his everlasting love. Come on, let's hear you at home now. We've come to sing our songs of worship. We've come to sing our songs of worship. We've come to give ourselves in praise. To offer thanks to our Creator. And celebrate the one who saves everybody. Sing of His everlasting love. Everybody sing of His everlasting love. Be slow to anger, rich in mercy. Let all the earth declare His glory. Everybody sing of His everlasting love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, everlasting love. Yeah, and that's the reason why we do worship. Our worship is a response to God's everlasting love to mankind. Not just the ones who look cool and dress appropriately, but those in need, the poor, the destitute, the lonely. God's hand reaches out to each one. The loving kindness. You know, in Psalms, it talks about loving kindness many, many times. The loving kindness of God. Literally what that means. Loving kindness means to reach down, to stretch out a hand to those of us in need. And the joy and in the celebration is made real because we know and we understand that God cares for each person. 
And wherever we are, God cares. Dennis Hurst isn't able to be with us today. She's a regular and she's uh, suffering some back problems. We lift her up in prayer today. Thank you for her life and we ask you to bless her, Lord. And wherever we are, in whatever circumstance or situation, if we've had a good week or a bad week, doesn't matter. We just come exactly as we are, knowing that God's loving kindness, his hands are stretched out towards each one of us. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness is better than life. Try that with me. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness is better than New every morning, whatever I feel, there's infinite mercy and grace. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness is better than when I'm in the valley of doubt and despair, you never push me aside. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness is better than Again. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your loving kindness is better than life. Yeah, and all the people said amen, because that's the reason for our songs, our celebration, and the fact that we can come wholeheartedly as we are to a God who cares. Well, it's great because I've got Rob Halligan in the house. Well, not literally in my house. He's actually in his house and uh, waiting there patiently in his green room. Rob, how are you doing over there in Coventry? Oh, Co Coventry is wonderful. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Can you hear me now? You've got your ears in. I can hear you, yes. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, it's going very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. You know, I miss our coffee times in, in London. I know. Uh, on the South Bank where, you know, at various intervals we've sat and waxed lyrical about the state of the world and the That's... church and the music industry and... All things. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's been very. That's been really good, actually. Um, yeah. Sort of less. I've, I've less um, reason at the moment to get down to London because uh, obviously my daughter, my daughter used to be in uni down there. So Nikita. Uh, yeah. 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 Actually, Nikita took a photograph of us together on the South Bank at the Festival Hall. Um, it's been doing the um, the rounds on Facebook. Uh, can we can we have it up on the screen yeah, there, Pat? Yeah. Good. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Well, <laughs> I tell you what, it must have been a very, very cold day that that particular time, uh, Rob, because um, so, I don't so know you could, if you could see we've got about five five <laughs> layers on each. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't think it was in July. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure when it was. Um, God, <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to count it earlier. They looked like um, I mean you had about well at least at least five there. <laughs> but you have been described, Rob, as as uh, Bruce Springsteen having uh, tea <laughs> with with uh, uh, Bragg, um, Billy Bragg, Billy Bragg, Billy Bragg. Yeah, that, that was Paul. Paul Gambaccini said that. 
Really? Radio yeah. 2 presenter, Paul Gambaccini? Yeah, yeah. Which Wonderful. Is, which is very nice, you know. Yeah, very nice. Well, we didn't have a cup of tea when we met together. It was coffee. <laughs> but uh, there we are. But that's quite an accolade, that is. Rob, how has it been for you over these, you know, um, obvious months of, lo- of lockdown? What have you been doing with yourself? Well, it's been a, re- it's been a really strange time. Um, I think like, like yourself and like everybody else that's a, a musician or songwriter or performer or actor or in that mm-hmm. kind of industry, uh, all, all, all of my work, that, uh, all, the, all the dates that I had booked, and everything were all cancelled um i had i think i had a a definite tour of about 18 dates um Mm. and then more in the pipeline you know so Mm. there was there was about um 30 about 38 40 dates that kind of went um and so uh yeah uh, i mean it's it's been a lot of time just to just to be creative to think about life um it's been good it's been painful it's been fun it's been challenging and rewarding and a whole mix it's it's, it's a real roller coaster um yeah you can't bottle it up can you yeah i you like you like walking don't you I, i've seen that on your facebook page you like getting out in there yeah we've got some nice woods near we were up there this morning actually we've got some nice woods near us and um, mm-hmm. so we went up there and uh yeah we can walk for quite a way yeah. And something else I noticed, you repairing a, a saxophone, is oh, that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Where, where is it? I mean, there it is. There this it is, is the multi. Do you actually play it? Um, badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. I, I mean, I, I used to play it a lot. Um, and then uh, when I started, ooh, sorry, when I, when I started doing the kind of more of the singer songwriter stuff, um, mm. obviously you can't sing and play as a solo you know no that is difficult and so uh, the sax kind of uh, went to bed really and and i i got it out um probably for the first time in in a few years uh, a few months ago and uh, a couple of the pads fell out it's a really old saxophone it's a 1926 hawks and son my goodness Um, yeah uh so and it had been a bit bashed around i got it from a junk shop years ago (sighs) yeah and uh and I thought, you know, I, I did some inquiries to sort of get it done. And uh, thought, oh, how hard could it be to sort of fix a saxophone? <laughs> how hard could it be? So I took it all apart. And then, uh, you know, yeah. Well, <laughs> my knowledge of you is you are a jack of all trades. You can turn your hand Master to most of things. <laughs> yeah, pff, you'll be doing the repair shop on television soon, I bet. Saxophone. <laughs> Mind you, saxophone might see a bit of renaissance. Do you remember in worship times where the saxophone was the instrument? Sure. You know, that was like the anointed instrument. Uh, if somebody would play a sax solo, they would think, that was cool. You don't see it so much. Maybe no, you're going to you bring don't. it back, Rob. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it was a bit of a, an, an Iona-ish thing as well, wasn't it? Do you remember yes. Iona came and, uh, and you had um, Dave Fitzgerald and Mark Horton in, in mm. um, Iona mm. and... Uh, yeah, I mean, Dave is, a, is an incredible player. And, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. He certainly is. Well, look, over this period of time, you've also released an album. Yeah. The Long Way Home. It's got an interesting title. Why, why that? No, Always Heading Home. Always Heading Home. Sorry. I yeah. Might, yeah, I'm sorry. That's Always right. Heading Home. Yeah, um, why? Well, um, it was interesting. I, I, I wrote the song Always Heading Home. Um, goodness. Uh, it was last year, um, middle of last year, a friend of ours. It was actually, um, it was uh, written after a friend of ours died, very old. He was very mm-hmm. old and um, it was it was kind of one of those expected things, but you realise it always, um, those sort of things catch you unaware and uh, mm. that's where that came from. Um, mm. And just, a, it's a song about, I suppose it's a song about mortality, but it isn't mm-hmm. supposed to be sort of depressing. About mortality you know it's like we're you know we're going home and that's yeah, okay yeah, yeah. you know there's things in life that catch us unawares and uh mm. but um but actually it's all going to be okay because one of the things i like about your music is it straddles not only the christian scene but you do stuff in folk folk clubs yeah. and you know home concerts uh, not just to christians you, you do play to christians yes yeah but you you also get out there in the folk scene, which is which is wonderful to to see, kind of an ambassador 
of, of music and they're not, necessar not necessarily overtly Christian lyrics, you know, Jesus saves or whatever. They're, no. But they're, they touch people where they are, don't they? Well, actually, I mean, I think um, it's, it's one of the things... Uh, when I started doing this a long time ago, um, I, I, I wasn't particularly aiming at the Christian mark. I was doing a lot of playing a lot of pubs mm. and, and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and I figured that if if I'm a Christian and I'm trying to do the best I can, <laughs> you know, being like that, mm. and if I'm writing from that perspective, then hopefully somehow what, you know, my faith or something of God will come through in those lyrics. Um, mm. And, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of what I do is tell stories in my songs or paint mm. pictures in the songs, and that fits in so well with sort of the folk tradition. It's mm. just one of those things. Um, and uh, I wouldn't say, I don't like saying you can get away with stuff. I don't mean it, you know, that cheapens it, but it fits. It, it's, it's really, you know, and uh, um, yeah, you know, just writing about honest things in life, how life comes at you. Um, you know, I, I like honesty, you know, um, I like honesty in, I like the honesty in the Psalms and, yes. uh, and, and, it's it's an interesting thing. There's a guy that went to Jesus and said, "Lord, I believe. Help help me in my unbelief." And it's that kind of honesty to say, "God, you know, I'm believing you, but actually, I'm finding it really tough to believe in you at the moment, yeah. and I need a bit of help." Or yeah. life is rubbish, and this yeah. is how it is. And I think, you know, I, I think I think I just try and write in a way that's just accessible to people. And that's and, great in yeah. a way that you know says things that people want to say yeah well billy bragg is the they call him the bard of uh, barking yeah and uh well i'm talking to the the bard of warwickshire i think um <laughs> and um, you know maybe you sh can you share a song can you sing a song to for us uh, yeah and then we'll chat yeah. a bit and then perhaps sing another one yeah i'll sing a song called um this is called come take your place <laughs> This journey is long and the path can be hard on your feet Beyond the horizon are promises that you can't reach And the hills are ablaze with the sunlight that's out of your reach Oh, you're not alone No, you're not alone So come take your place at the table Come and let go of your cares Come break the bread Come raise a glass Oh, come for your place is prepared and You'll find a door that's wide open You'll find a shelter from the storm You'll find a heart as white as the sky that welcomes you into the warm When the warmth of the sun brings you memories of brighter days and the trees whisper secrets passed on by the cold winds of change When daylight is fading and home can seem so far away Oh, you're not alone Oh, you're not alone So come take your place at the table Come and let go of your cares Come break the bread Come raise a glass Or come for your place is prepared You'll find a door that's wide open You'll find a shelter from the storm You'll find a heart as 
wide as the sky that welcomes you into the warm. So take up your pack, set it down as you come through the door. Take the weight off your feet, pull the chair up, enjoy the warmth. As we share our stories of the places we've all been before. Yeah, you're not alone. Oh, you're not alone. So come take your place at the table. Come and let go of your cares Come break the bread Come raise a glass Or oh, come for your place is prepared Hey, you'll find a door that's wide open You'll find a shelter from the storm You'll find a heart as wide as the sky That welcomes you into the world That was excellent, Rob. Quality songwriting there, oh. uh, quality performing as well. I love the Thank passion you. and the, the movement and the focus of the song. Thank you. Really, really good. Yeah. You've got quite a menagerie <laughs> of guitars behind you, actually, haven't there. you? I've got a few up there as well. <laughs> That's an interesting one that you're playing right now. So what is one, that? It's, it's called a gazook. And yeah. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hybrid. It's a cross between a guitar and a bazooki, which is like a, a kind of like a mandola, I suppose. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it's got a lovely, a lovely, a lovely, it's got a lovely big sound. Yeah, lovely, lovely. We've got a few uh, guitar enthusiasts who, who regularly tune in, John Hurst being one. Uh, he's got a whole room full of uh, guitars that he, he loves. And uh, Dan Shaw, I promise you next week I will play my Rain Song guitar. Um, that's the one that I haven't had uh, out, out yet. Uh, but yeah, it's great to see all these. You must have, yeah, a lot, well, of, a lot of money spent on strings. They've all, got, they've all got names as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell us some of those names. Uh, well, well uh, uh, okay, so we've got Zach. This is Zach. Zach. Um, it was. I bought it in Wales. Actually, I bought Zach in Wales uh, yeah. on on the way to a gig at a place called Zach's Place. Have you ever heard of Zach's Place? No, I haven't. No. It's uh, yeah. run by the. Uh, well, I, th I think it's run by the like the Christian Motorcycle Club, and right. it's uh, it's a drop-in centre. They do stuff with homeless guys and all that yeah. kind of stuff. We've got Bartholomew. Yeah. Uh, Bartholomew's first gig was in Morecambe, and I said to the people in Bar in, in Morecambe, what, what should I call my guitar? And they, somebody said, call it Eric. And I, I said, I can't call a guitar Eric. <laughs> no, so, so, no so, uh, that is not cool. So, uh, Sorry, else, anybody, Eric, uh, who's no, watching. It's, it's a great name. It's a great name, Eric Clapton, great, but it's not yeah, a guitar yeah, yeah, name. It's not a guitar mm, name. So... Mm. Uh, uh, somebody said Bath Bartholomew, but because Eric Eric Morecambe's real name was Eric Bartholomew. Ah, you see the very yeah, cool. So very there you cool. go. Yeah, so you got that. Cool. Yeah, there's yeah. a few others as well. Yeah. Well, you know, you come from an interesting background, the South Coast. Uh, uh, yep. You know, growing up for you was a challenging time. Was it? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I mean. I don't know. It can sound it. It can sound worse than it was. Um, mm -hmm. I know that. I know that some people have really horrific times. I mean, I I, I got into lots of scrapes, lots of trouble with the police, uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I I was I, I ran away when I was fifteen. Uh, ended up living on the streets until I found some you know, bumped into some Christians and mm -hmm. uh, and that was up in the Midlands. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it was. And what impacted you about the Christians? Was it was it their vocal message of the gospel, or was it something more? <laughs> no. Um, when I met when I 
when I met these guys, I didn't have any money. I was skint. I was homeless. Uh, mm. Had nowhere to live. And they offered they offered me somewhere to live, somewhere to be, some you know. And mm. they looked after me, and I gave them all the false stuff, you know, I get false name and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. And eventually, they got the truth out. You know, they 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 worked out that I wasn't telling the mm. truth pretty quickly, and. Um, and help me sort my life out, basically. Mm. Um, and I didn't get the God thing at all. I really mm -hmm. didn't. Um, I, I was still a scallywag. I was, I was trying to, I was ripping them off. I was, I, you know, I was. Uh, trying uh, it on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All of that kind of stuff. And, um, and I think it was after about nine months, something started to click. Um, and I thought, you know, these people, you know, they, I don't, I don't, I'm, you know, I, I'm certainly not liking the music. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't get the, the, you know, the preaching or anything. But they are doing so, and and I think what it was, in hindsight, now I know, there is a real power when people are simply being Jesus to people. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's not talking mm -hmm. about Jesus; it's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's being mm -hmm. Jesus and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I was being believed in. I was, uh, uh, yeah, people, obviously, to me, uh, from what mm. I was getting, was that people wanted me to be okay. And, yeah, and uh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And you've since gone on and you obviously developed your songwriting skills and your musicianship, yeah. although I suspect that that was always hanging around. But uh, you, you, you ran a drop-in centre, didn't you? Or were running it? Uh, yeah, we, we had a drop-in centre in Coventry that, uh, mm -hmm. I, yeah, that we ran, which was great. Um, it was, uh, I mean, I, I, I started doing that. Um, uh, our church had set it up, but mm -hmm. I started, I, I went there in about 2003, 2004, something like that. And basically... Uh, I, I'd, I'd had a, I had a, I had a proper job. I'd done quite well uh, for somebody that came out of school when he was fifteen. Mm. I've, I've managed to. I, I'd worked my way up, and I was uh, a, an HR manager in a big pharmaceutical mm -hmm. company. And um, and then my dad was killed on September the eleventh, mm -hmm. um, two thousand and one, uh, yeah. in the World Trade Center. And it just mm. made me drop everything. It made me uh, mm. look at my faith. It made me look at what I was doing in my life. Mm. Uh, uh, I realized I didn't want to be caught up in the kind of corporate thing. And um, I felt like I had something to say. So that was why I kind of left that job. I went and worked in the drop-in. And I, it was it was a couple of days a week. And so I spent, uh, for years, I was doing sort of two or three days a week at the drop-in. And, uh, yeah. and uh, then the rest of the time I was doing music. Yeah. Connecting with all the wastes and strays and the, the people many of them in similar situations yeah, to what absolutely. you were which is, um, you know we saw, we saw some amazing things happen some mm, lives really mm, changed you know mm. and your music has gone on and i think it's time for you to sing another song is this going to be yeah. from the, the new album uh yeah i'll um i'll sing this this is um this is uh, a song i on the album i, I duet it with nikita actually Mm -hmm. um, and she's got a lovely voice. She hates singing in public, so mm. I, I, that's never going to happen. But um, it was, uh, it's quite apt. Most of this yeah, album. The, the cover of the album's just come up, Always Heading Home. Yeah. So most yeah. of this album, I, we started recording it before lockdown, and, um, and then lockdown happened, and it took a completely different kind of turn if you like and a lot of the songs came out of just thinking about life and all of that kind of stuff and this was really a lockdown song and uh, i heard two guys talking about this was back in march april and uh, they were talking about how how tough they were finding it and one of them said to the other one i oh, says i'll see you on the other side and so mm. uh, that's where this is what mm. it's called the other side mm. When night has come and the shadows have departed and black is blue is pierced by golden rays 
when day has come and the only trace of darkness are memories that quickly drift away I will see you there on the other side when we have walked and the valley is behind us when we have climbed and reached the mountain's crown when we are free from all the days of struggle and reach the place to lay our burden down I will see On the other side I will see you there On the other side battle's done and we are done with fighting when we have come into love's embrace so I will see you there on the other side yeah I Yes, I will see, see you there on the other side. Mm. Great song, Rob. Great song. <laughs> Very evocative. You know, it reminds me of uh, Meet on the Ledge, you know, the famous uh, yeah. Fairport Convention anthem. Yep type song and uh, such a lot of content in there that well gets people in at the heart yeah let's see the cover again of your your album uh, if we can pat uh and how can we get it uh you can go to uh you can go to rob uk. yeah um and just click on the shop tab and you can get it from there uh yeah. that's probably the easiest way yeah um yeah, and when you're back on the road, we'll be out there to see you and support you because that'll, that'll be great, lovely. Great yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really miss being on the road, and I'm really, yeah. but, uh, plenty of live streams as well on Facebook. Yeah, so yeah, you, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Check out check out Rob's uh, website and his live streams on Facebook. Um, take a rest for a few minutes in the green room. Uh, I didn't manage to send up your. Uh, uh, yeah. requests of, of what you want but uh... <laughs> perfectly chilled water and M&M's and all that kind of stuff yeah, maybe I'll some make Yorkshire tea, tea. <laughs> alright see you in a short Sorry. while <laughs> that's great what a gift when I consider your awesome splendor and greatness of my God 
I'm filled with wonder that my Creator should suffer at that cross. Your love is higher than the heavens. Your love is deeper than the sea. Your love is wider than the oceans. Your love welcomes me. Your love welcomes me. O oh, rock of ages, I'll sing your praises. Eternal is your throne. Why should you call me? Give your life for me, I will never know. Your love is higher than the heavens. Your love is deeper than the sea. Your love is wider than the ocean. Your love welcomes me. Your love welcomes me I don't pretend to understand you I'm always taken by surprise By your amazing love Your all-embracing love That comes to me in spite of all my failure all my endeavors, my earthly treasures, I lay before you now. To you, my Maker, I will surrender. At your feet I bow. Your love is higher than the heavens, your love. Deeper than the sea, your love is wider than the oceans, your love welcomes me, your love welcomes me. Oh, the vow shall be with the sound of praise and the lion shall lie with the lamb of his government this shall be no end and his glory shall fill May your will be done, may your kingdom come, let it rule, let it reign in our lives. There's a shout in the camp as we answer the call, hail the King. Hail the Lord of Lords Oh, the valley shall ring With the sound of praise And the lion shall lie With the lamb Of his government this shall be no end And His glory shall fill the earth May Your will be done May Your kingdom come Let it rule, let it reign 
in our lives There's a shout in the camp As we answer the call Hail the King, hail the Lord of Lords Hail the King, hail the Lord of lords the mighty one the one who's so much greater and bigger than we are and so often we get disheartened by our own feeble efforts but there's one who holds us up who is a stronghold who is the strength of our life rob why don't you come back from the green room and um finish that cup of tea or tuning those guitars Got it. whatever it might be <laughs> that's right there's a project um, you were involved with, well, you actually initiated um, a, a year or two back uh, about the Psalms. Mm, yes. And, you know, as primarily, I guess, a, a worship uh, person, I'm intrigued by the, the, the Psalms. They mean a great deal uh, for me. Um, just unpack a little bit about, you know, what, why you chose to zone in on, on, on the Psalms and, and what that resulted in. Um, well, it wasn't really a kind of um, a thing about the Psalms to start with. It, what happened, uh, we were at the drop-in one day. In, in Coventry, uh, once every six months or so, uh, in normal times, we have a big get-together of the churches. They all come together. We have a thing called City Prayer and Praise, and it really mm -hmm. is quite amazing. It's, it's great. Um, but I was in there... Uh, I went along to one of these um, uh, a couple of years ago and um, and we'd had a rough week at the center we'd have one of our lads had died on the streets um, things you know things were quite horrible really and uh, mm. I remember going into this um, city prayer and praise and uh, it was big and loud and there were lights and the band and all of that it was yeah and it wasn't where I was at at all. Yeah, and yeah. I thought, if any of our guys come in here, mm. they you know, they would feel completely, they wouldn't get it at all. Um, mm. And, you know, and I'm not at all kind of saying there's anything wrong with those no, events, you know. Mm. But it, it got me thinking. And then um, two other things happened. There was, um, I, w I went to a conference at, uh, at, um, at Lambeth Palace um and Ooh. the archbishop yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> me and the archbishop uh we he was he 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 mentioned something he said we we need to learn to lament well and i'd been thinking about this you know how do you lament and uh, and then a couple of weeks later i was at another event and the bishop of coventry was you see i hang out with all these bishops you see oh. um and uh and uh, I was talking to him and, and I mentioned, uh, you know, we need to, I, I really got this lament stuff on my heart. And he said, look, could you, look, could you write a lament about knife crime? Because mm. it was, a, you know, it was a big thing a couple mm. of years ago. And so I'd started doing that. Um, and then I, I, as I, as I thought about it, I thought, you know, I was looking at the Psalms and I was thinking, you know, about half the Psalms are songs of lament, songs of mm. pain, songs of, agony you know songs mm. of doubt mm. and yet they're all worship yes. and and you know so often in our worship it's all about how amazing god is or mm -hmm. what we're going to do and how we're going to worship and how everything's mm. going to be cool and we, we very sell you know and even when we do touch on some of the the tough psalms you know um we quite often miss out the tough parts of those psalms mm. you know so we don't we don't sing in our worship god i'm having a problem you know no we take out those verses we you know, we, we choose we choose them don't we the ones we want to sing yeah absolutely um and so for me the challenge was look how do we incorporate um how do we incorporate the bad stuff in our lives uh in our worship because I think if God wants our worship, he, you know, he doesn't just want 
the the nice bits he wants everything he wants all of us and that includes the doubt it includes the failure it includes the the mess because uh, you know goodness me he knows that i'm in a mess you know mm. um and yet that's okay I th um and, and like i said earlier you know the guy who says to jesus lord i believe help me in my yeah. unbelief is uh is exactly that you know it's saying god you know i am really having a problem i can't worship you without your help mm. um, so you better step in here and to mm. me that's that's holistic worship that's yep. everything that's everything you know mm. So that's where it all came from. And so I, 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 I started writing some songs and some of them were up and some of them weren't so up. <laughs> yeah. you know. Cool. That's great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's really valuable and really important because we bring our whole selves to God. You know, often we think it's only our best side that uh, God sees and God um, uh, welcomes, but actually it's the whole person, isn't it? All the ups yeah. and downs. And that means that we can trust a God of compassion, a God of grace. All those words that we speak about, yeah. you know, uh, a God who is steadfast, more steadfast than we are. We can we can trust and uh, yeah. open up ourselves to be vulnerable before. Look, I'm going to ask you to sing um, well, not just one song. Sing a couple of songs back to okay. back, uh, you know, and and perhaps um, introduce this one and uh, and the next one, and and I'll be back. I'll go in the green room now. I'll have some <laughs> Tizer. <laughs> tizer. Wow, I haven't heard of Tizer for years. <laughs> You thought such a marvelous for me. You hear every word I say before I get the chance to speak. There's no way. I can hide away You see my every shadow You are my brightest day I'm fearfully and wonderfully made Every breath I take It is a gift of your amazing grace Though my life is like the spray on the storm-tossed wave To you my life is treasure And I'm fearfully and wonderfully made Oh, the stars in the heavens sing your praise there's no song that I could bring to match the anthem that they raise But you stoop down and you listen at my door Despite my feeble efforts you say you want to know me more I'm fearfully and wonderfully made Every breath I take, it is a gift of your amazing grace. Though my life is like the spray on a storm-tossed wave, to you my life is treasure and I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And I'm fearfully and wonderfully made 
To you my life is treasure and I'm fearfully and wonderfully made So after over this year, I've had a lot of time to think about stuff and uh, a lot of that has been looking back and wondering how much of what I've done with my life has been worth anything. Um, I guess how much has been wasted. And, uh, you know, I started doing this music thing and uh, about 18 years ago and you have your dreams about where you think it's all going to be and uh, those dreams don't always turn into what you imagine it's going to turn into but um, but that's kind of okay I think life is a journey I think um, and on that journey even though the road sometimes is pretty rough there are treasures and diamonds buried in the dust under our feet and we just stumble across them every now and again and it makes the whole thing worth it sometimes it feels like I'm standing on this mountain I got the world beneath my feet How high I climbed, how many miles will I stop counting Still the dream seems out of reach These days I learn to count my blessings I breathe the clean air in my lungs But I know there's still a voice inside me calling It says the road has just begun To the promised land Seems like only yesterday that I was starting I had the energy of youth I kicked down all the walls that held my heart in It's gonna be nobody's fool I had no plans, just my ideals and my guitar And a bunch of songs I thought I knew Simone and me, well, we would play the clubs and bars Tell the many and the few of the promised land Of the promised land Was the music kept my feet on the road And the songs that kept my heart full of hope There was a love that would not let me go Sometimes people try to change the road they're given They dig it up and they start again Back at the start where well, they don't change their direction No, 
it all works out just the same Thought by now will I to reach my destination But the road keeps winding on I trip and fall, but I know that nothing's wasted. It's all treasure that belongs in the promised land. In the promised land. Yeah. In the promised land. Wonderful, Rob. Thank you hey. so much for being our guest on Thank Home you for Spun me. this week. It's been a joy. Nice one. Thanks, Dave. To have you. It's been really good. Thank you. Lovely songs. So check out uh, Rob's website, Rob mm -hmm. Halligan, um, and the album, and uh, one of those baseball caps as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for joining with us, Rob. We'll see you soon. Um, yeah, so great time. Thank you for joining again with us week by week. Uh, next week, um, we're going to have Russ Parker with us. And uh, Russ is going to be in conversation with me. We're going to be talking about dreams, pilgrimage and poetry. That's quite a, quite a mouthful and uh, quite an interesting um, mix of topics. Russ has uh, written a, a, a book of poems that uh, I think, you know, he's going to share some of those. I also want to encourage you to uh, check out our podcast series, Hidden Kingdom. I've got an interview with uh, Les Moy, which came out on Monday. Uh, there's a number of other people that I'm talking to, really with a view to expanding our horizons on what creativity and what expressing our God-given gifts is all about, whether that be in, in the church or out in, in, in the arena of the world. I'm going to finish with one final song. Before we do that, I think we're just going to have a, a just a, a short uh, word of prayer. Lord, we lift up all those who are watching. Thank you for Rob's songs. Thank you for the impact that they've had on us. May we be refreshed, renewed, encouraged. And those who are hurting inside, Lord, we pray that you will reach out with your arms of love or you'll make them, us all see, your arms of love that are reaching out. And we pray for those that are around us. We pray for uh, just the ability to share and shine with your love wherever we are. Amen. Okay, one last song. See if you remember this one. This is a, not one of mine. I wish it was. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Everybody now, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine Even in my home I'm gonna let it shine Yeah, yeah, yeah Even in my home I'm gonna let it shine Even in my home I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
shine, let it shine When I see my neighbor coming I'm gonna let it shine, yeah, yeah, yeah See my neighbor coming I'm gonna let it shine See my neighbor coming I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine That little light of yours You're gonna let it shine Come on now That little light of yours you're gonna let it shine That little light of yours You're gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Here we go now Amen next week.